Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. Today we're going to talk about the difference between Weights and Expo on Edge TX. And what I want to go through today is the difference between Weights and Expo. If you're a veteran RC flyer, you probably don't care about this material. You probably have it well in hand. But if you're new to the hobby, terms like weights and expo and rates can be kind of confusing if you don't understand exactly what they're supposed to do. So I'm gonna cover those today because they're, they're very fundamental to model setup and you really wanna understand the difference between the two. So the first thing we're gonna tackle is weights or rates. You're gonna hear both terms out there. Most people refer to it as dual rate dual rate that's with an R. If you think about the movement of a control surface, if you have a very high deflection of a control surface, what happens is with that very high deflection, the aircraft will spin on that axis quite a bit faster than if you have a very small moment of movement on that control surface. So a very short movement, the rate of turn is much slower. I believe that's why they're referred to as rates. Now to add confusion to the issue, on the radio, you'll see it referred to as weight. And weight has to do with distance. So in RC, rates and weights are both related to the distance or movement of the control surface. Now, let's go through a couple of examples. On my input screen, I've defined a couple of different input combinations. On the first one, I have a weight of 100 with no expo. We'll get to expo last. On the second line, I've got a rate of 50 with no expo. We'll get to expo last. And then on the bottom line, I have a rate or weight of 100 with an expo of 100. Let's cover the weights first. At 100%, when I do a full deflection of the aileron stick, I get movement down to here and up to here. So what I want to do is use a little guide to kind of give you a look at where that's going to land. You see that silver guide right there on the left? Okay, so at 100%, the way this particular model is set up, that's how far that control surface moves. Now, when I switch my rates using my SB switch down to the middle position, I'm gonna go to a 50% weight, 50% weight, and now you can see when I move that stick to full deflection, it doesn't even come close to my marker over here. It's got, still got a long way to go before it gets there. I've effectively cut the travel distance in half. So on the radio, that's referred to as weight, you can see right here, there's a line that says weight and 100%. And if I back out and highlight this entry, which is my second line, you'll see I've got a weight of 50%. The weight changes how far that control surface will move, okay? Now, when you change how far that control surface can move, you also manipulate the rate of movement around the axis. That's why you'll hear them referred to in both cases, what as rate and weight, but really it means the same thing. We're referring to the same concept and that's limiting the movement or the total amount of throw on that control surface, okay? So if I go back up to 100% on my weight, we'll go back out to the marker all the way to here. You see the, how that surface now comes all the way back out to that marker that I set down? That's 100% weight. Okay, let's talk about Expo. So in Expo, what we're doing is we're not really changing the weight or the rate. What we're doing is we're changing how we get there. When it comes to Expo, the important thing to understand is that when you apply Expo, you're going to get the entire movement of your control surfaces. So notice in this case, I've applied 100% Expo. If you look at this little graph, what we're seeing here on the top is the weight. That's how far we're going to travel. And right here on the bottom is the, is the rate. And Expo introduces what's called a curve. So when you're not using Expo, you have what's called a linear curve or a straight line, which means as we move the stick, every step forward is also a step up throughout the entire range of motion. There is no manipulation between the stick and the control surface. It's very linear, very linear, perfectly linear as a matter of fact. Okay, so when we add Expo, what we're doing is we're bending that line. We're not changing the distance. We're not changing how far that control surface moves. Notice it still moves just as far. It moves all the way to the marker. That hasn't changed, but I've got an Expo of 100%. What's happening is how we get to that position. Notice in the center stick position with an Expo of 100%, my marker, my intersecting point between the stick and the control surface is right here. As I move my stick to the right, notice how little that control surface is moving. Look at, look at my aileron stick as I move back and forth, and that control surface is barely moving. That's because we've flattened out the rate on the vertical axis here. We've flattened it out. 
So at 100% Expo, we have a very flat rate line right here. It stays at zero. That means that control surface doesn't move. Now there's a give that you have to make in this case. Because we flattened it out here and we're not changing the total amount of throw, we have to make up for that travel somewhere. And notice how when we get to this point, the curve goes very straight, almost straight up. And what happens on the control surface, the way that manifests itself on the plane, is you have very little resolution once you start hitting that curve. You basically go from almost no movement at most of the stick throw. And as I continue going and finishing to the edge of the stick throw, we, we almost travel the entire upward distance on that control surface. So what Expo does is it changes the relationship between your stick and the output but it doesn't change how far that output goes. That's up to the rates. Rates decide that, or your weight, your weight or your rate. That's what decides how far this control surface goes. The Expo simply changes the relationship between the stick and where that control surface is. So the takeaway, the key takeaway here is that when you have no Expo, you have a very linear line, and that means for every movement to the right, you have some movement on this control surface, okay? Very linear output. When we add Expo, we've changed that linear output to an exponential output, which means there's a curve involved and that flattens out the area in the middle and gives us a much more immediate change in output as we move the stick to the right. Now you might say, well, okay, why do we use Expo? One of the main reasons you use Expo is to soften the stick up around the center. So if you're in a linear model like this, any little movement right here in center is gonna cause a movement on that control surface. See how every little movement on that stick moves that control surface? That might, if you're new, or if the plane is particularly sensitive, or if it's got big control surfaces, um, you can use Expo to kind of tune that down a little bit in the center and make the plane or the aircraft a little less jittery. It's less excitable by adding Expo. So when we add Expo, as we move a little bit in the middle, you see very little movement on that control surface. That kind of deadens it around center. Now I'm used a very exaggerated use case for Expo in this example. If we tuned it down to something a little more practical, like maybe 25%, the curve is not as visible, but you still get the benefit of softening up the middle a little bit. It takes a little bit more stick movement to move that control surface away from center, which gives it the sensation of being calmer in the air. Okay, so that's the difference between weights and expo. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down there in the corner. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.